welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Um, I'm Bill. Hello. How's your day been? I hope it's been lovely. Um, mine's been all right. Thank you for asking. Uh, today we are looking at February 5th, 2024's 159 by Clover. Now, if you don't know what gas is, we are genuinely approachable Sudoku between me, uh, Clover, and Philip Newman, we make genuinely approachable variant Sudoku that you can solve at the link below. Go, go, have a go at this puzzle. Stick around for me to explain the rules before you watch it, but like, other than that, you know, just, just have a go. Just have a go. What's the worst that can happen? Your secret's safe with me. Now, today's puzzle uh, is a 159 variant Sudoku. So, um, if you haven't seen stuff like this before, uh, let me explain it to you. So, Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means this one to nine must appear in every box, row, and column. Um, once each without repeats. Now, the digits in the first column. So this one here is column one. This is column two. Uh, this is three. This is three, etc., etc. Tell you, this is, uh, this is, Columns, we read from left to right. Um, but the digits in the first column tell us where uh, one appears in that row. So in the first column, uh, if a three appeared here, it would tell us that one appeared third from the left, right? Now it does, that's pretty good and very helpful. But, you know, to figure we'll, we'll, we'll take the time to do this right. Now, same thing applies for five in the middle and nine over here, okay? So wherever this digit is, it tells us where five is in that row, what number position. Um, and this one tells us, uh, this one on the right tells us where nine appears. So, cool. Got that? No? No worries. Uh, if not, feel free to stick around. I'll explain it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be okay. Um, but uh, give it a go. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. All right. So one is in the third spot in uh, row one. So we'll put a three there. It's in the fourth spot in row uh, three. So we'll put it there. Um, nine is in the seventh spot here, sixth spot here, uh, and third spot here. So we can actually put a three in, thanks to regular old fashioned Sudoku, put a three there, uh, because that is uh, the only place I can put three in that box, which means we can put a five there. I will put a six and a seven, because six and seven can only go in uh, these spots highlighted, and this is two and eight. Now, I have a two and an eight here. But if I put a two here, this would mean I'd have to put a one. If I put a two here, I'd have to put a one there, which as you can see by the angry red coloring, doesn't quite work. So we can actually just resolve this right now. We'll put an eight uh, there, meaning we can put a one there. And now this is four and five. Oh, but I've just put a digit in a highlighted spot. Um, so if I put a four here, I would have to put a five. If I put a four here, I'd have to put a five here. But no matter how many times I tap my keyboard trying to put a five in, it doesn't quite work. So this has to be five and this has to be four. Uh, this leaves us with four and nine to place. Oh, but that's another digit in a red spot. Uh, I can't put a five there because I've already put a five in this box. So this has to be nine and this has to be four. It tells us I can put a five there and this becomes a six, seven. Um, I'll come back to that. Uh, this is either eight or nine. Uh, I don't know enough right now to say otherwise. Although what I can do is I can definitely put a five there, seven there. But let's do um, down here. So. Uh, ba -ba -ba. uh it's been a it's been a little while since I did this puzzle, but 
Uh, where do I put a 2 in box 5? Well, 2 has to go here, so I can put a 5 there. Uh, now I need to place a 1 and a 4. Now, uh, 4 actually goes there, and I just forgot to put that digit in. In fact, I forgot to put this digit in. Oh, gross. So that's 6, that's 8, that's 1. Now, one of the things, if you are sort of familiar with how we work, is sometimes there will be a, like, what we call logical path throughout a puzzle, where, you know, we want you to find this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Um, this is a puzzle where there is so much going on that you could miss a bunch of stuff and you'd still be fine. Um, as you can tell, I'm maybe not doing this in the, like, perfect order, but I'm getting through it pretty quickly. Um, so I could put a three down here which means I put a nine here. Uh, nine means that this goes in the fourth spot, which rules uh, four out of that spot in row five. I need to put a one and a two there. Uh, this is one, this is two. Uh, oh, what else have we got? I can put a four there. Uh, now, I need to put either a seven or a nine in that spot, and this is three, seven, nine. Uh, this can't be nine, and this can't be seven, because I have a pair in there. Just going to double check before I go any further in this puzzle that I've got all the ones. Sure do. Oh, I've got another one down here. That's in position six. Um, and I've got another one there. I just missed a bunch of ones. It's not like I made this puzzle any harder for myself, but, you know, life's hard enough as it is. Don't make things any harder for yourself than they need to be. Two in column seven means that's seven, that's two. This is six and nine. Eight, nine, seven. Oh man, I'm nearly done with this puzzle. Uh, seven and six. Uh, this is two. Uh, uh, oh, I need to put a one in that. Um, uh, two means I put nine there. And this is, I've got four and eight to place. So that's four, that's eight. And they've got a three and a four to place. That's four, and that's three, eight, and three. I feel like I really demolished that one. But that is 159 by Clover. Um, I've been Bill last time I checked, still am. Um, this has been Genuinely Approachable Sudoku for February 5th, 2024. Um, feel free to have a lovely day, lovely day, lovely time zone. You know, enjoy yourself. Life's too short to not uh, enjoy life, you know? Have fun. I'll see you next time. Peace.